as you can see here, when you're on the highway, things move pretty fast. Uh, there's a lot of flow of traffic, not that there's any around me at the moment, but, uh, but that's just it too. Uh, sometimes on the highway, there's not a lot of people around you and everything's moving in a very fast, very consistent one direction. Uh, even when there's a turn, it's at such a slight degree that you don't have to slow down. But, as you can see in town, things are a lot more slow. You have to pay attention to a lot more when you're driving in town. There's traffic going each and every direction, right? Stuff's oncoming. Uh, you're obviously going forward. Lanes are tighter. There's lights. There's pedestrians. Again, the other vehicles going in other directions. It's a huge thing, right? You have to really pay attention. But on top of that, the buildings around you uh, and the lines being a little bit tighter than the highway, it just makes you feel like you have to go slower. Even in the dead of night when there's no traffic on the road, you get a green light all the way through town, 60 kilometers an hour in town, at, in those conditions even, still feels a lot faster than 60 kilometers an hour on the highway. Speed bumps are going to help reduce speed drastically as well. Uh, if you go too fast over a speed bump, your vehicle isn't gonna like you very much. So we, with the amount that we're planning to implement, we're going to see drastic rates, uh, or we're going to see drastic drop in rates, sorry, of speeding and excessive speeding, uh, as well as combined with narrowing of lanes, which will help compound that issue that we were talking about with in-town driving as it is, uh, making you feel like you have to drive slower, affecting a driver on the psychological level.